A three putt is the same as hitting your driver in the lake. Yep. It's a one stroke penalty. Yep, it is. Uh, so you, it's like every time you three putt, you got to think that's, I'm, if I'm three putting seven times or every nine holes, yeah. that's seven penalty strokes yep. that you're giving yourself. Yep. You probably don't have seven penalty strokes with your driver. Larry, my only goal for my students is to shoot lower scores. And uh, when you told me you averaged maybe seven three putts for every nine holes you play, it became clear to me that uh, helping you with your putting is going to go a long way to lowering your score. In fact, helping you with putting might help you lower your score than any other part of the game right now. I don't want you working on a lot of different things. I'm only going to talk about two things that I want you to adopt in your putting stroke. First of all, you have a very good stance. And the way you swing your putter is very good. You do not, um, you're not wristy at all. You have a nice shoulder swing and a forearm swing, just like the pros do. Very good. The first thing I want you to work on is controlling the length of your backswing. You too often take the backswing too far, the putter back too far. You may need a much shorter backswing and then a smooth forward swing. And so, so I want you to start practicing. Uh, by consciously shortening your backswing and then, then putting through the ball. But uh, on this particular putt, uh, you shouldn't go much further than your right foot. And uh, you went uh, off, almost off the green with this putt. So you really need to start understanding that the, you control distance by controlling the length of your backswing. This third arrow was your last putt. The second thing I want you to work on is to keep your posture and your eyes down until your putting stroke is completely over with. One of the most important fundamentals that Tiger does is he keeps his eyes down to the ground until his stroke is completely finished. As Tiger takes the putter back, his eyes are down. As he hits the ball, his eyes are down. His eyes are still down. His eyes are still down. His eyes are still down. His eyes are down even after the ball rolls out of the pitcher. It's only when his putter comes to a complete stop will he turn to look. And while he's looking, he's holding his posture, his spine angle, and the finishing position of his putter. He has not recoiled that putter back. So he's putting, holding his finish, and then look. Putt, hold, look is one of the most important fundamentals of a good putter. When you first make contact with the ball, your eyes are down. But then you immediately turn your head and start watching the ball roll away. And so uh, not only are you lifting your head up, you're lifting your body up. You're standing up now and you're not holding your spine angle. And so one of the things I want you to work on is that putt, hold, look that, I, that you saw Tiger doing. And hold that finish, even on your practice stroke. Good. You can look at that now. Right, that's a perfect distance. You just need to aim it now to the right and make that same stroke. Just trust the nice, smooth forward swing and hold your finish. Hold that finish. Now look. Okay? So the holding your finish is a cr critical fundamental that you need to start adopting in your swing. To control, there are three things that if, I was, if we were building a putting machine, I would, we would build that machine to take the putter back so far, go through it at a certain speed, and try to hit the center again. And if the machine did that identical ball breathing, the balls would all go through it. It would be a machine. Right the pros if we wanted to, if I take it back to my right toe here, yeah. and swing through, it'll create a certain distance. If I want to hit the next one further, I'm not going to take it to my right toe and swing faster. I'm going to have that same smooth forward swing, but I'm going to take it a little bit further back. I'm going to take it back a little bit outside my toe, and smooth forward swing. Uh, I'm going to go shorter. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go shorter my right toe and through. So by adjusting the backswing, we adjust distance. 
This was the result of your little cluster drill, your three ball cluster drill that we did after you start adopting some of these techniques. And look how tight those three balls are. You hit all three balls identical because you were controlling the, you had the same backswing, same smooth forward swing, and you held your posture through the stroke. Very good.